And for the second time in just three days, the Western New York region posted higher than normal positive COVID-19 cases, with the most recent percentage once again being the highest in the state. And we've seen these kinds of spikes before. So is this just a minor peak in the numbers or part of a trend that we should be worried about? Between your sides, Jackie Roberts got some insight from a local expert. The percent positive rate in Western New York was 2.6% on Monday, then dropped to 1.9% on Tuesday, and Wednesday it hit 2.5%, again the highest percent positive in the state, according to new data from the governor's office. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, who's leading the region's reopening effort, told two on your side in a statement, we are closely monitoring the numbers and zip codes to determine any common source for the increase in Western New York cases. We are continuing to be in constant contact with the local elected leaders, as well as continuing to provide rapid testing machines and test kits. So these new numbers are not grounds for panic. Dr. Thomas Russo, the chief of infectious diseases at UB, says overall we're still doing okay as a region and as a state, especially compared to most other places around the country. But he says there is room for concern. The new coronavirus has been smoldering here, but kept in check. And I think uh, seeing these two days with increased number of cases, it's critical now for us to really double down on public health measures to prevent this smoldering situation from getting out of control. And he says the timing isn't optimal, especially this weekend with possible indoor gatherings for the Bills game and Halloween. This is the time not to give in to the virus, not to suffer from COVID fatigue and say, eh, I'm not going to be wearing my mask. Uh, I'm going to get together with my friends, but really to do the opposite and make e every effort that uh, the situation remains relatively under control here in Western New York. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.